She's not equipping them to be strong. She's not even teaching them U.S. history. She's teaching them the other stuff that's not even on the test. The 1855 Know Nothing Rights, the Know Nothing Party, that's a test that's on the AP um, U.S. history exam. So she is specifically uh, censoring any ideas that would be on the test. And she she's basically a psychopath. I, you know, I, I don't want to... I don't want to go too far, but I mean, like with my conclusions. But the um, why else would she would she be so pissed off about the 1855 Know Nothing Rights? So either she thinks only she could say the new material when she says R R William Randolph Hearst is a populist, then they know it, right? They all got it, which isn't true. Only one of twenty of them actually know. Um, but that's what she thinks. She thinks that if so, therefore only she could say the knowledge. And if you try to introduce, if you try to say that William Randolph Hearst was a populist. Before she's ready for it, holy shit, that'll get into their fucking heads, and then they'll they'll know exactly what's going on. You know that's such that's such bullshit. It's so crazy. I mentioned something about the um, there's the last question was how the church reacted to Charles Darwin, and I want to mention Galileo. And Galileo, they were um, they were uh, in 1992. The Catholic Church finally apologized to Galileo, and what he say? Uh, either the, the the world's round, or the 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 Earth revolves around the sun. Right, those are like the two archaic ideas. So either one of those two ideas, and they was wrong about it. But it took till 1992 to finally fucking apologize for it. But she didn't want me to mention Galileo because she didn't want me to make connections. All about history is about looking for those patterns, looking for those connections. Connections is what history makes history fun, you know. Like because there is a continuity from the 1855 Know Nothing rights throughout the Gilded Age, you know, on through 1900s till today. I'd say the ruling classes today are fucking nativist. They're fucking white Anglo-Saxon um, Protestants who uh, are part of the ruling class and they hate anybody that's different than themselves. So, you know, they're pro-Baptist, anti-Catholic, and anti-everybody else. I would say a lot of the Germans and Irish have been um, adopted into, um, into the thing. Why is there so much noise? Why, what is happening? Yeah, so. It's weird, I don't know why that's. The heater is doing that. There's a window open, and then the heater, or basically all the heat is going straight out the window. Um, so, yeah, why didn't she want to know about the 1855 Know Nothing Rights? Because she's a fucking wasp. She's a white Anglo Saxon Protestant, and she didn't want to show how big of a fucking racist she actually is. She wants to conceal that fucking racism. No, I don't believe it's her class, so she's a fucking Nazi. She didn't want me to say something. She wants to be able to censor and fucking chop up any fucking thing I might be able to say, you know, jump in front. But when you do that, then I'm not fucking liberated, and I'm an American, and I'm going to say what comes to my mind anyway, so that way it's fucking flowing. And it's, you know, going smoothly. Um, but it, what it feels like to me, it feels like when I was a child. You know, go go split that fucking, go split that wood over there. All right, I go split the wood. Well, you didn't split it right. You split it all wrong. How come you can't split this wood? You got to split it differently. Do it some other way. You know, make sure make sure you get the big, the hard, knotted wood. Make sure you split those woods too. You can't just, just don't do the easy stuff. And then it's all spread out everywhere. Would you spread it out just to try to make it look like you did a whole bunch? No, that's bullshit. Stack it up, and then you'll see that it wasn't much at all. And um, and so, basically, once you agree to the first fucking obedience, once they said, okay, so go fucking split that wood, then you're just up to fucking getting beat up, browbeat the entire fucking time you're doing it. You didn't split the wood right. You didn't do it right. You ain't um, stack it right. Now you need to put it in the fucking truck. What the fuck is the matter with you? Don't you know what the fuck you're doing? And then I split the fucking wood like you fucking told me, but everything else is going to be shitty. You're not even paying me for this. I'm not getting a fucking penny for any of this. And I, um, as your fucking slave, as a complete slave, you know, there is absolutely no air around here. There is no air. There is no room. She wasn't for equality in the least bit. All I did was disagree with her. I disagreed with her on the, about the about presenting the 1855 Know Nothing Riots, and she just turned into a fucking raving lunatic, a complete fucking psycho. This is my class, and you're going to do what I say because it's my class, or else you're going to get out. And I was like, well, I mean, I don't think this is working because you're wrong. You're wrong. You're telling me not to do this, say this, but it's 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 part of the test, part of the AP exam. You're wrong, and um, and I'm not allowed to say that. I'm allowed. I gotta just let a fucking person just be completely wrong in the whole time. And really, you know, it wasn't like I'm being a contentious person. I was there for three days, and I went along with everything she had said before. 
Um, but it, but this this was just something. <coughs> It just felt like I wasn't arguing with her. I was just chit-chatting with her about the material we was talking about. Then all of a sudden she get her fucking, you know, boss hat on and says, no, don't fucking say that. Man, what was the point of chit-chatting with you? What was the point of, like, telling you what I was about to say, you know? If anything, you saw the fucking questions. If I can get my conversation to answer all the questions, what's it matter? I was able to demonstrate Miss Chancellor's, fucking Julie Chancellor's material. Um, using Jonathan Masters' fucking style. So if anything, that means the learning would have fucking been good and been there forever because I would increase the fucking curiosity and I would have made it fucking interesting. Um, but instead of making it interesting, instead of having a good conversation about where, all, where we all came from, the fucking white American, the white woman American, 75% of the education establishment, which is oppressing everybody, and they're uh, over-diagnosed in ADHD, especially when it comes to the boys, because they're all white women. What do white women know about other cultures, Latinos and West End? And what the fuck do they know? Do they know anything about the struggles? Do they know anything about what's going on? In the world, it's uh, it's seventy five percent white women, so that's just a surface analysis. Of course, there's some very intelligent, you know, and cultured uh, white women out there, but there's also those who are being protected by the Ku Klux Klan. The white women back in the days of lynch, and all they had to do was say that man raped me, that black man raped me, and then that black man was hanging in a tree. Unfortunately, for most of those cases where the white woman said that black man raped me, it turned out she had raped him. She was slipped out on backs, fucking the slaves while daddy was gone. Daddy catches him. Oh, I'm sorry, daddy. I'm sorry, daddy. It wasn't me. I wasn't fucking him. Like, I know it's out in the shape. He grabbed me. It was rape. And then this good, pious, wonderful woman, because KKK is protecting white womanhood since they're moral and elegant and perfect in every way. Um... Since uh, um, they had watched a person who they had loved, they loved that black man that was in the fucking slave quarters. They fucking loved him. But as soon as it had been caught, as soon as it had been known that she was fucking a black man, immediately she lies, and then she watched that man that she loved get hung. Good. This is a good person. This is good people. This is what, these are the people that we have educating our kids. Nah, that's some fucking bullshit. Um, I believe in equality, okay, and I don't, I don't know of many people who actually believe in equality. And equality comes in two different ways. Either there's a give and take, or I'm completely free and you're completely free, and it works out. It somehow works out because I'm able to do what I can do and to the best of my ability, you're able to do the best of your ability, and as long as we're doing our best, best and there's synergy there. When we're giving and taking, that means I'm doing some things you want me to do and you're doing some things I want you to do. No give and take. It was all her. She's a complete boss. There's no air around her. And all I did was disagree with her. Um, this comes on the tail of, you know, be, of not being able to make the first three days because I had got robbed. So she probably was pissed off about that. Um, but I, I to sit there and just analyze it just as it is. I think it's bullshit. Okay. She was. She. She could. We didn't. Couldn't work together. But then she calls and she's trying to fuck up my education here at Spalding University. Now you know that's okay. Like, it's, it's not okay. It's fucking bullshit, but it's even more bullshit because the people here at Spalding believed her. The people here at Spalding went ahead and agreed with every fucking thing that came out of her mouth, didn't even consult me, made a decision to fucking throw me out, you know, of the fucking school and say you can't fucking graduate no more. Well, for what? For what? I mean, like, seriously, like, what the fuck? Like, everything that I've been doing for the last two or three years, being in Louisville, living here, riding on my bicycle, going to fucking college, doing this, doing that, has been to, this is where I'm at, I'm a student teaching, I'm right here, I'm ready to go on to the next level, and they're not going to let me do it, there, there's a fear of freedom, fear of me succeeding, I don't know what the fuck it is, that's total bullshit, but that white 